All right, here we are at side two. This one's gonna be a little bit tougher. I already had to remove this shield. It was just two 10 millimeter bolts. Um, also, the transmission hangs down, so it's gonna get in the way of the control arm. So we're gonna to have to raise this transmission up at some point, but for right now, let's get started in doing the same process we did on the other side. We're going to remove this cotter pin. Then we're going to get our 19 millimeter again, get it on that nut. There we go. Loosen it up. All right, now we're going to break it loose. Once again. Now let's go ahead and take these off. One. Two. So I think the trick is to remove the bolts and then the push this in there. It appears to work a little bit better. So we'll set this aside. Next up, let's go ahead and remove this bolt here. And remember there's a nut on the other side, a 19 millimeter. Let's go ahead and get this wrench on here. See if this will come off. <sighs> Got that. And now the 19 millimeter here. This one's only going to come out so much, so right now I need to go up and I need to raise this transmission up. So on the top here, we need to remove some stuff because we need to get down here and remove the bolts out of the mounts so we can lift that engine up. So now once you get these three bolts out of the bottom of the air cleaner box, just pull it up and put that aside. So we got to remove this bolt here out of the mount and then there's one over there also. So that's what we're going to do right now. And it looks like the battery and tray may be in the way. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that battery also. <sighs> All right, so now we can see the bolt that we need to take off here. And down here is the other one we'll need to take off. All right, so I'm gonna put a jack here. I wanna catch the corner of the oil pan, plus a little bit of the aluminum right there. And I'm gonna jack it just ever so slightly. Now I wanna remove this bolt here out of the mount.
All right, so this one should be loose. And then I also want to remove this one here. So the bolt came out. So we, we took these one, two, three, four bolts out. This bolt out right in there. And we're going to take the mount off. Now we'll go up underneath, jack it up again. like we got just enough all right so now that I got the jack up engine up the bolt will come out once the bolt's out we got to get this out again yeah, that one came out go came out fairly easy this one is totally totally shot that was my main problem on this side so let's go ahead and make sure they're the same again looks like the same we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side we're going to make this a little bigger because when that bolt tightened it down, it made everything tighter. So I'm going to put the bolt here, get my big screwdriver. Right at that bolt hole. Let's do it the other way. And you see how it, it's actually bending up. I'm going to come down here a little bit. It went quite a bit. I bet this thing's going to just fall right in. All right, then also, same thing on this side here. Just bring it out just a little bit. Look at that, slid right in. Tap it in here. Now we just move it around until we can get it in there. Just need to finish tightening this one. Just like on the other side, I want to show you this. The other side was the same way. This 
bolt hole does not line up. This hole should have been cut just a little bit further down and it wasn't. So I have to grind this out. I did this on the other side too. So both of these, I just got to grind a little bit off and then it'll work. So let me do that now. That's it. That's all I needed to do right there. So that one's in. That one's in. That one's in. And the third one's a 17. But you know what? This was cheap. It was 80 bucks. Oops. For 80 bucks, I can do a little grinding. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, so then we're going to put the nut on. Tighten it down. Alright, so there's the hole. Powder key, it's the ball joints, the arm, that's tight, that's tight. Just need to torque everything down. So now we're gonna put the mount back on. That helps, it looks like it helped a little bit. Let's stop right there. One, there we go, it should be pretty close. Hopefully I can get it in. This other one, I got that bolt in. All right, so I got all four, the mount bolts in and tight. All right, now I need to get this mount bolt back in. Lucky for me, it's lined up. Now that was luck. Now we need to get this mount down here. Yeah. Go ahead and dismount. <sighs> All right, that's good. And then we're putting the battery tray holder back in. Okay, so once I get this battery in, we're all finished. I'll take it for a road test. And you can see, I just saved myself $1,600. That's what I was quoted to do this job. And the parts were $80. So I saved myself about 